Hello, everybody. My name is Minecraft Days, and welcome to another episode of the Plundercraft server. Oh, we're really close. Today is going to be a fun day because we have a lot to do in this episode, and uh, we did a lot in the in the time I was away. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video. First off, you may notice my bunny pet. That's him. He lives there. That's his new. Oh, I fell through the boat. That's rude. He lives there now. And, uh, we did a lot, uh, in between episodes. First off, I do need to apologize. I'm super sorry that I was not able to upload on Sunday or Wednesday. I have been super busy in, uh, finishing up all of my schoolwork that I was not able to record. So I apologize for that. Don't worry. Videos are back. There will be a video on Sunday and this video here and even some more. I also have been doing a lot of streaming. And you'll find out in a little bit what we've been doing over this time of streaming. So, let's go. I'm gonna uh, take a little nap here, and I'll go uh, show you what we did. And a good morning to you too, Plundercraft. Don't mind all of the re you can't sleep. Don't don't worry about that. All right, you don't you don't need to worry about that. Anyways, guys, uh, if we come over this way, let's go this way because you'll see it better. We have been doing a lot of work, and for once in forever, this wool farm is going to come in very, very handy. So I'll tell you a little bit more later, but at the moment, let's go check out what I built. So first off, as you may have remembered, uh, we did a stream where we built uh, this the, this path up, up to here, and the path to the big diamond vault. And then I can't look over that way yet, so we'll go backwards. Ow. I also added a window here so then I could know if this minecart was moving just because it, it minecart noises on bedrock just are broken. Like, you'll hear the minecart noise when the minecart isn't even moving, so I had to do that. The next thing is we built the, this path here, and as you can see, I don't know if you saw, but there's a little bit of an indentation that goes downwards because we're going to have to, we have to build a path here as well. So uh, we're going to come right here, and we're going to turn around in three, two, one. Look at this, everybody. Look at this. This is amazing. Let me just eat a little bit. So, we built this on stream. So, in the past few streams, I've done a total of two streams for worth working on this build. Uh, the first stream... Oh, it helps if I put my elytra on, doesn't it? Bup, bup, bup. So, for the, for the past few streams, what we have been working on was clearing out this mountain. As you can see, it is... It is, it's, it's, uh, it's major cleared out. Uh, there is, we still need to clear out some more because this is going to be a massive build. But, uh, we've cleared out enough for us to have enough space to work. So, obviously, we might build the path today, and I think we will. But if we come up the path, and we come into here, we are met with this wonderful looking build. And if we turn this way, this is what the inside is mostly going to look like. It's going to be a big palace. And, uh, we're going to probably live in it. And it, it's, uh... It's going to be really good. So uh, we have this here. This is the uh, one of the rooms. This is mainly going to be a big palace. Uh, I don't think it will have anybody. There won't be a king or anything. It's just going to be a, ma a big palace. Uh, maybe even, I don't know, maybe even a chapel or something like that. I'm not fully sure. But uh, there we go. We've got, it's mirrored on the other side as well. And right here is where the big tower is going to be. So there'll be a big massive tower going up there. And it's going to be, this is build is going to be super big. So uh, stay tuned because in the, over the next few episodes, this build is going to get very, very big. And I want to show you what it looks like at night. So we'll wait till we will, uh, I'll show you what it looks like at night. Anyways, besides that, we need to gather a lot of resources. Because I don't know if you saw, this takes a lot of sandstone. And if we look here... I've still got, I've still got a fair bit of, I've still got a fair bit of sandstone, um, and I also got a lot of quartz, uh, I still need more, because this is gonna take a lot of quartz, but most of the build is gonna be made out of sandstone, the roof is gonna be a different color, and I'm thinking of a type of terracotta, I'm thinking of maybe, not, maybe a cyan, or maybe like a light blue terracotta, something like that, something to make it look really cool. Or maybe a wood. I don't know yet. We'll we'll get to that when we get there. But this is going to be a massive, massive building. It's going to be possibly a total of two, maybe even three floors. And it's going to be a massive building. And we will be working on it over the next few episodes and the next few streams. We now stream multiple days. So uh, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash minecraft for days one. 
Uh, again, that's twitch.tv slash Minecraft for Days 1. You can join us in our streams. We have many commands where you can get a house built on the Plundercraft server. We already have two other people who we have to build a house for. We're not going to build it here on video, but we will build it on stream. So make sure you come, because we have a, a, a grand time. It's, it's a lot of fun. Make sure you come. Come. <laughs> other than that, everybody... Uh, there has been, uh, uh, other stuff happening on the Plundercraft server. We are going to head in that direction, and we are going to head to Silver Raptor's base. So, let's first put on all of our armor so we don't die, because I'm prone to dying. And we just gotta head over here, until we meet this mountain range, which if we dive down just a little bit more, we can get some more height. There we go. And right over here, right here, we have Silver Raptor's base. You see, yeah, he's still on the server at the moment. His base is, it's coming along very, very nicely. So right here we have his nether portal, which it's a secret on what this is. I don't even know what it is. He won't tell anybody. But as you can see, we've got our nice curved pathways. The best part I like is this is the only straight pathway. Everything else is all curved. So what we got here is we've got a storage. I believe this was for him to make obsidian, I think. And then, I guess, a cactus farm. He's got a lot of different things just scattered about. He's slowly building stuff. He's got these wonderful looking uh, mountain, like, uh, stream sides that uh, turned into the hill of the sand. And he got one over here as well. This one doesn't look like it's roughed up a little bit more. As, as much as that other one, but it still looks really, really cool. I also like the bridge that he built. This really nice, uh, small bridge. It's, it's amazing. But this is probably my favorite. We have his house that he has built. And, uh, it is amazing. Uh, it looks very, very cool. It looks, uh, like a, it looks like a modern desert house. It's amazing. He's got a pool as well. His base is really coming along, even though it's way far into the season. I like his base, and uh, we'll come back to this every once in a while to look in and see how it's going. That's not nice. Why'd you do that to me? You got me down to four hearts. I gotta wait for the hunger to go away. How long? 15 seconds I've gotta wait for that? Fine. Keep going. But as you can see, he's got his nether portal, which he hooked up. It hooks up right to my tunnel, as you guys are. You guys know this tunnel. Oh, we spoke, we've see, you've seen it before. It hooks up right to here, and it's really close. We've got the uh, basalt farm that somebody broke the last time, so I told no one to use it. We've got my tunnel, and then we have the piglin bartering farm, which is doing amazing. If we come down here, look at this. We've got a whole bunch of resources, a whole bunch of fire resistance potions. Uh, I believe the soul speed three book, two netherite hoes, a lot of ender pearls, which I'm actually going to take some. Uh, a few iron nuggets, a lot of magma creams. I already used all the uh, iron nuggets to turn into uh, uh, turn into iron, obviously. But then there was also, ooh, you're not supposed to be down here. What are you doing there? I don't appreciate that. No, you're. I'm just gonna make you despawn. How about that? But yeah, they also have some really good names. We got Big Dingus, Maximum Dingus. We've got Billy Bob, and we've got Jimmy Joe. They're my three piglins. They're really good boys. Now if we fly down here, as you can see I've got the string on the top, that's to deter gas from spawning. Sorry for taking all that damage. Oh, no, there's a gas in here. I do not appreciate that. Is he in, or... No, he's not in, in, is he? That's not gonna be good. If he comes down, I might be able to hit him. Yeah. Got him! Look at that, he didn't even get to fight. Not even a fighting chance. We've got all of our respawn anchors here. They make a lot of noise. And then we can come through the portal, and our next thing stuff to look at is in Plunderville. Oh no! The fox! I'll have to grab some wool. I've got a lot of wool. I can fix this. Don't worry, Pepe. I'll fix your fox. Hold on. Oh, my door's gone again. <laughs> Those zombies. We're in hard mode, everybody, on the Plundercraft server, so we get zombies uh, breaking all of our doors. And I have a few doors around here. I think I have, like, a lot of doors. Here, what I'm gonna do, I couldn't find the doors, so we're gonna come to this crafting table. We're gonna go like this. And we're, these are gonna be the emergency doors. So if we ever lose doors, 
We just put them right in here. Oh, look at that. A diamond. So we put this right here. Look at that. I even got a diamond out of my mailbox. People are so... Oh, it helps if I actually grab some of the doors. Bop. Uh, bop. Another door broken. So many doors broken. I think that's all. There we go. The House of Commons is fixed. All good. Put this back. There we go. But yes, so uh, Plunderville is really coming along. Uh, I don't think we've made any sales here in Infinite. Let me just check. Oh, I did not know I sold Glowstone. Um, apparently I do. No sales on nothing. No sales. Big sad. But we did get some sales over this way. If we take a rockets and if we fly up this way towards Infinite. We have made some sales here in Infinite. If we look in here... There used to be 18, which means we have waited four sales in rockets. And then there's also been a whole bunch of things bought here. So if we just do a little detour, but there we go. And put that back. We look in here, 35 diamonds. Look at that. And then over here as well. Oh, don't fall in. Two more diamonds. I believe this goes here. And that shows that we have made four sales on the uh, rockets. Someone's been down here. It must have fallen in. Wait, no, that was me when I went to go get the receipt. Never mind. But yes, we have not really had many bugs in Infinite. Uh, everything has been going way very, very smoothly. If we come in here, we've got M4D profits. Hold on. I'm going to stand God there. I'll give me the extra diamond just because he's already got that. Oh. He's already have that. He already has that in there. So there we go. 18 diamonds in there. 19 diamonds and oh I don't I don't need to put them in there I have my own diamonds <laughs> but there we go 20 diamonds of profit today look at that but actually we made profit yesterday because silver raptor came over and bought six stacks of my um uh he bought six stacks of my sandstone so there we go 28 diamonds and we are now going to take that and take this shulker box and we're going to come this way Oh, we grabbed the wrong shulker box. We weren't supposed to grab the shulker box. We were supposed to grab the diamonds. Well, there we go. If we come this way, right over to this shop, the Plundercraft Building Company shop. Look at this. Vote Tim, the mayoral candidate who fixed this. There was a big creeper hole here. We fixed it. Right here. Quartz. Co quartz. Yep, we're going to buy all of it. Two diamonds per stack. So I can buy... I can buy, oh, 14 stacks. I can buy all of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stacks. So that would be... That would be this plus that. There we go. We're back down to 8 diamonds. And then we just put all of this in here. There we go. Pe Pepe Bay has made a lot of diamonds now. And we can put that in here and this in here so we can get that later. Next, we can check on the mayoral polls. We've got ties still. No peoples have voted, which means that we're going to have to go to the end of the campaign. We are nearing the end, especially if the votes are staying still. So we might have one more debate, and then it will be time to vote for the mayor of Plunderville. This is going to be very, very fun. I have a big idea for what I'm going to do for this, because we need to finish this building as well. And it involves a lot of wood. So we're going to actually finish this building today as well, and we will do that in a time lapse. We'll do a whole bunch of things in a time lapse today. Uh, so uh, we will do, we'll do a whole bunch of things in a time lapse, so we'll do that later today. But if we come all the way up here, we need to build an office for Tim. And we need to finish this up here. So we're going to be finishing this today as well, as well as uh, working more on the big palace. We still got a lot of concrete, but I don't think we need much more. Because, uh, I've, I've got big plans for how we're going to do the rest of it. Another thing that has occurred, we've got, looks like a giant hand coming out of Killer Goblin's build. Something's happening here. His house was exploded with a giant meteor, which you can see right there. And but then also... Down over here, drill was hit as well. Killer Goblin shop. Look at this. You can't get in. And if we head up here, this is the only way that you can get in. If we head up this way, 
you can see that it's a massive crater with a meteor inside. So, and it looks like drill is all, yep, all taken out of stock, which means it's closed now. Stuff is ha- whoa, what is this? A giant floating house. I believe there's something over here as well. I need to find it. It's a uh, something secret. Something, something around here. <gasps> there he is. Look at him. There's Jack. Oh, no, no, don't, don't touch me. Oh, you're going to laugh at me now, Jack. Oh, I don't appreciate your laughs. Oh, why? Look at that. You got an enchanted apple. That's amazing. So, yes, we got a lot of stuff to do. So, without further ado, let's go into a time lapse to do this. All right, everybody, we have done a lot of work. Uh, I'm super sorry that I wasn't able to do a time lapse. I was busy doing a whole bunch of things, but look at this. The build is massive. Uh, it took so much terracotta to do to do all of the work that I was able to get done. We also did some work here on the inside. If we come down this way, I do apologize for the frames, but there we go. We did a little bit of work down here. Uh, it looks amazing, everybody. It is coming along great. We just have, uh, one, I think we're going to do a tower on each of these two corners here. And then we turn the building, which means this is the front of the building, but there also needs to be a set another floor. So we're still not even at the top of the building yet. So, uh, we're going to do a whole bunch of more work and, uh, let's pop into a time lapse. Alright everybody, so first off, uh, I'm very sorry that the rec uh, my, my recording bugged out. He even He's still up there, and he's not, he's just... Oh, now he's gone. Well, <laughs> e. But this is what we got done. Look at this, it's amazing. I think there needs to be a little bit more detail there, and I actually have an idea of what I want to do, but we will work on that later. But look at this, it looks amazing, and I did a little bit of work in here. Right here, we got our little entrance way. Uh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> There's all the scaffolding blocks. And then I did, uh, as you saw, this already. So we're gonna... We need to build a wall here. And we're gonna be doing some other stuff. But we also, sadly, are not done with taking out this mountain. There is... There's a lot more. This mountain has to basically be flattened all the way down to the ground. Because this is going to be a massive, massive build. And, uh, it's gonna take a very, very long time to build. And, uh, I actually am out of time for a recording today because I might be able to do a little bit more, but I don't know. I will, uh, I do, I, I might have time to a little bit, I might have a little bit time of tomorrow to record before the video goes out. But I am not sure. I need to remove those sugar boxes. I don't know why they're still up there. How much uh, do I have left? I got 32. Let's go, uh, do a little bit more. Look at that! I did a little bit, I just raised those up. Uh, the windows obviously need the detailing that was given here. But I think it is looking very, very good. The roof needs some more detail as well. But I think it's looking very good. Uh, the thing that will happen with these pillars here, that one there and the one over there, they will become a tower, almost something like that, but much more detail. My favorite part about all of this is you can see the way I change on my building style. If we come over here, you can see that these are... Oh, I hear... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
That's not nice. Are there more? I hope not. Anyways, as you can see, they're mo mainly just square buildings with detail in trap doors. But, uh, and then a little bit of plants. That's how the buildings at my base started, with this building first, and then this building, which never got finished, and probably never will. <laughs> then we come into this, uh, oh, I went the wrong way. And then we come into the desert themed buildings. We come into our desert temple, which I've done a lot of detailing over the past few days, uh, and ever since it was built. Uh, there still needs to be a little bit more detailing, detailing inside, uh, as you can see it's just still square. And then this pyramid over here has to be de has to be roughened up and detailed. Uh, then we have the Sphinx, which I got into more human characters, characteristics, more human characters, which I'm not good at building human characters, so I think, I think that this turned out amazing. Then of course there's the towers here, and my towers were basically just cubes that slowly went upwards and they went inwards as well when they went up and now we got this i think our buildings have much improved throughout uh the time of us being on the server and i am very very happy that plundercraft was able to be a part of me getting better at minecraft in building in the way i build and the styles that i build in uh i cannot wait for more building on plundercraft and more seasons to come in stuff that will occur uh, there will also be a lot of shenanigans, of course. You cannot have, uh, good builds without the good shenanigans. So, uh, we will still have some shenanigans as we're coming close to the end of the mayoral campaign. Uh, hopefully, Tim the Creeper wins. We are voting for him, obviously, and if we're not, then what, why, why are we even, why, why are we even making stuff for him? But yes, we're campaigning for Tim. He's gonna win, without a shadow of a doubt, I know it. <laughs> But yes, I think this looks really good. So, um, if I do not do anything tomorrow, there will just be an outro. But if I do, I will see you guys tomorrow. Everyone, I wasn't able to do any more for the recording, so I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys leave a like. If you have not done, if you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team Up for D. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.